Hello, fine people of the interwebs. I am Tessa Yatone. Uh, welcome to my vlog. Um, it's going to be a weekly vlog. This is a project that I'm throwing myself into for a lot of reasons, mostly mental health reasons. Something to do, just being creative. Um, the premise of it is just showing you guys something during the week, something interesting I did, something interesting I saw, somebody interesting I spoke with, anything. And uh, also is going to have a, a, an element to... An element of, I should say, uh, some sort of fitness journey because I'm trying to, you know, lose weight like most people are. Just trying to be healthy. I just want to be healthier overall. Anyway, uh, first segment today is going to be a bit of a cooking project that I had. Uh, I made pizza. Came out okay. I made focaccia bread pizza. Homemade. Made the dough from scratch. I didn't make the cheese from scratch. Could have. Didn't. But, uh, yeah, just check it out. Look the wrong way. Hey guys, welcome to Costino de Chiquito. I'm your host, Anthony Small, and on today's episode, we will be making focaccia bread pizza. In a mixing bowl, we will add four and a half cups of flour, two and a half tablespoons of kosher salt, one package of active dry yeast, every, every last grain of it, every single one. Everyone, all of it. Tiny whisk until homogenous. Now we add one and three quarter cups of lukewarm water, three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, and mix until a shaggy dough forms. Yep, just just mix. Just it'll it'll come together. Upon further inspection, I have realized that one and three quarter cups of lukewarm water is not enough. So we added another quarter cup and screw the spatula, just going in by hand. Knead it until a ball of sticky dough forms, and then look at your own hand in disgust at the monster you've created. Tightly cover with plastic wrap and let rise at room temperature for two hours. As you can see, my plastic wrap ain't quite wrapping. Maybe we'll try a plate. Nope, that didn't work. Uh, let's try something else now. Cover the bowl in plastic wrap and uh, a cutting board and let proof at room temperature for two hours. After the initial two hours, place it in the fridge for eight hours up to 24 hours. This allows the gluten to form and gives you better flavor and more chew. Now that is the next day, clearly, as you can tell by my change of attire, in a rimmed baking sheet lined with parchment paper, sprinkle about two tablespoons of olive oil. Turn your dough out onto the rimmed baking sheet Using the tips of your fingers, spread it as far towards the edge as you can, trying to avoid rip up, trying to avoid tearing it. As you can see, I did not follow this advice. Once it's sufficient in size, set aside to rest for about 10 minutes. In the meantime, we shred eight ounces of mozzarella cheese. Now, could we have done this ahead of time? We could, but I didn't, so shut up. A few moments later, now onto the sauce. Spread your pizza sauce across the dough as thin or as thick as you like. It's up to you, I'm not your dad. Now we sprinkle the cheese. Put as much cheese or as little cheese as you like. Again, I'm not your dad. For a little bit of extra focaccia touch, sprinkle a little bit more olive oil on top of the pizza. Now on the lower third of a 475 degree oven, in goes your pizza for about 25 minutes. Now I let it sit a little longer than 25 minutes, unfortunately, and that was my mistake. Oh, well, here it is, time to cut. Now painstakingly cut yourself a section of this pizza that you've made after letting it cool for a few minutes. And it's not New York pizza if you don't put it on a paper plate. As you can see, the bread is nice and thick, dense, while remaining crispy and airy. Now enjoy burning the roof of your mouth as is tradition in New York pizza. First try, it's not bad. Some for things I'd do again, but all in all, a good first try. Thank you for watching Cocina de Chiquito. This is by no means a binging with Babish ripoff. I don't even know who this Babish guy is. All right, that's a lie. I was totally inspired by him, but hey, hopefully this is a good try. Hope you guys enjoyed. No, oh, not the right way. Oh. So shout out to Andrew from uh, Binging with Babish. Uh, I've binged a lot of your stuff lately and a uh, bit of an homage. Who knows? Maybe I'll stick with it. Maybe. Or maybe I'll do something different. Let's see what happens. But, um, 
it looks it looks worse than it tasted. It was actually pretty good. Um, I know what I'll do different though. I, I left it in for a little too long, it was just a little too long, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end up making it again. I'll, I promise I'll take pictures. So. The next thing, and I guess I got, I'll leave you guys with this, is uh, my workout. I chose on a good day this week. I had uh, some time. I went outside and shot around. Uh, I did uh, the beginnings of a jump sole workout, which is a program that I've done, a uh, fitness program that I've used, plyometric fitness program that I've used for a while, uh, off and on for, shit, 15 years now? For a long time. Yeah. And it works. And this summer was the first time that I've gotten to uh, eight week, because it's an eight week program. Unfortunately, I was saying a lot that I had to get cut out because the audio wasn't good. Uh, I'll work on that and I'll, I'll have more stuff, more interactive stuff for you in the future. So we'll see. Check it out.
Well, that's going to wrap up this week's vlog. Uh, appreciate you guys for hanging out. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, uh, TikTok, and Twitch at TessaUDYs. I'm looking forward to doing more of this, and I hope you guys like it too. So until then, I'll holler at you.